Guys, welcome back to Chomp Chomp Chewy. Today I'm here with the incredibly talented and lovely Keisha from Kitchen Bravo. Say hi, Keisha. Hi, Keisha. <laughs> That's what we're in for for the next segment. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make some roti. And every culture has a flatbread, is that right? That's right. So what is it, Mexican, you have the tortilla, you have the roti from? Uh, India. India. You also have naan from India. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're making roti today. Yes, we are. Yes, I'm excited. All right, so what do we have here? We're starting out with what? Two cups of AP. Yes, two cups all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. All right, what happens next? So then you want to add a teaspoon, just one little teaspoon of baking powder. All right. Yeah. And that's just going to help it give just a little bit extra rise. Next going in. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot. I mean, not for me, because I'll just... <laughs> I was going to say. Right? All right, what else you got? We have two tablespoons of lard. We're going to put the lard in after you mix up the, the dry ingredients. That's what I need to do, because now with my hands. All right. Yep. Do I have to make the sound effects? They help. Yeah, sound effects are fun. All right. I'm not going to argue. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right. Okay, now we have the lard. Yes. Two tablespoons. Yes. In. Boom. Just like that. All right. <laughs> it smells like bacon. It kind of does. <laughs> Doesn't taste like bacon. No. <laughs> no. So we're using pork lard. <laughs> pork lard, yes. All right, so now what? I got it in there. Right, so now it, and I'm, I kind of restrained myself here because now you want to do like a biscuit method or a, like you're making pastry crust. So you just get in there with your fingers mm -hmm. and just pinch it all together until it comes up to being like grains of sand. So is this going to take a while? It takes a little minute. It seems like it's going to take yeah, a while. Yeah, it takes a little minute. All right, so but let's say totally this. After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've incorporated. It seems like it needs more lard. I'm it not going to lie. Are I, you sure? Right. No, it doesn't. It doesn't need any more lard. Are you sure? Positive. Because you don't want it to be too greasy, right? You want the lard to give it that texture, that chew, that flavor, but you don't want it to be so heavily oiled and, and fat laden that it just falls apart. Okay, she's the expert. <laughs> I just, I, okay, okay, well here we go. Yeah. Oh shit, it got between my fingers. That's alright. I didn't grab a claw. Look what happened. <laughs> See, the, the one thing, I didn't listen. That's on your fingertips, so it's not too bad. Oh jeez. It's okay. Okay. Now so, I'm crab claw. <laughs> right. So what happens is, because there's just enough water and just enough fat, that the dough is not going to stick between your fingers. It's not going to be that sticky you know, taffy-like mess that we usually see when oh, yeah. we're working with bread dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to come together in a beautiful cohesive ball. All right, so what am I doing here? Just like... So at this point, what you can do is go ahead and set it aside right now. Uh, well, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like it's right. It, oh, I didn't say you were done. Oh. <laughs> because what I'm saying is like, is like, you know, I'm used to like pizza dough or right. like What's kind of smooth? smooth dough balls. But this is a little coarse. It is. So what you... <laughs> no, it's a little coarse. Like, I'm used to smooth balls. A go! <laughs> so I see you have some reserved flour here in the measuring cup. I do. Get a generous pinch of flour and dust on your surface. Yeah, right. right on the counter. And you, did you, you see how convenient it was that that reserved little bit of flour was... It's because she put it there. <laughs> you know, like, I know what I'm doing. I set you up for success. You did. You totally yeah. set me up. And flop it down there? Flop it on there. Okay. Gently. Oh. Because you, otherwise you're going to have a puff of well, a mess that I'll have. Well, I don't. No, have to clean, I'll have to clean it later. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. And now just start kneading it. Come on in. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Like this? Well, oh, you mean knead it? Knead it, Oh, yeah. like, like, a, like a normal dough. Exactly. Or like a pasta? Right, exactly. Like a pasta just like a pasta dough, okay. just like any dough. So knead it. Use the palm, palm of your hand. Push it out. There you go. And then fold it so over. So like a dough. Right. Okay. So one of my favorite ways to do it is you use like do like a heart shape method. Get your hands. You want to get your hands in there? Oh, yeah. I saw you wash them, so we're, we're 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 good. Now. Okay. We're safe. So the heart method. Right, come on, let me see this. Okay, so to do the heart method, you're you're gonna do this. I'm just doing it once. No. So I push it out like this. Oh. Okay. Oh, and what? then I oh. draw it back. Oh. Here, and then I go again and back oh. here. See, that's totally different than what and I was doing. And roll it with your fingers. Back and roll. And if you see, huh. the pattern I'm going in makes a heart now see on the it. counter. Okay. Yeah. So that's totally different from what I was doing. All right, come back in. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, look how that smoothed out. It did. It smoothed You're out. totally right. It smoothed out really nicely. And it wasn't because of what I was doing, it was because of what she was doing. Not even. Okay. You worked it so much more than I did. All right, now what are we going to do? Okay. So now you want to let this rest because you really worked the glutens. You got everything together. I worked those glutes. <laughs> and you did. You worked those glutes. And yes. Glutens. <laughs> Now what do we do? Because now I'm going to get you a piece of plastic wrap. All right. And we're going to wrap it up and let it rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, kids. Hi. 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 It's good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a while. It has been. I know. It's, it's been about minutes. 20 minutes. And the reason, like, it could have been 15 right for this. Yeah. But the fact is that life happens and the neighbor knocks on the door and says, hey, I lost my dog. So, what do you do? You help find the dog. Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So now what we want to do is portion out our roti in as you know as equal as we can in pieces. So I always like to cut it in half. We keep cutting in half, you know, this way and across, just like you're slicing a pie. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Bingo. Well, now grab one of your uh, roti. Okay. And put it here in the middle of your flour table. Even all that flour. Oh, yeah. It looks like a lot. It, it, it looks like a lot, but it's really not even going to be All enough. right. And then you told me to cover these guys up. Yes. Why is that? So we're going to put this guy in with oh, that right. crab, oh, too. Because, okay. you know, you don't, you know, there's no ball left behind. No, you don't want to dry a ball. Right. Okay. There okay. we go. All right. So now that you have a little bit of flour on your hand, I yeah. hope you do. No, no knife. Okay. <laughs> You're done with that guy for okay. a minute. So just pat your hand down on the flour just a little bit, okay? And now you want to put it on the rolling pin. Oh, okay. Yeah, so flour your pin. And now you just start rolling. All right. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. Come saw. Come saw. So we're going to continue with these. Yes. And then we're going to come back, and what are we going to do? We're going to get a searing hot skillet going on the stove with a little bit of butter, melt it in, and we're going to fry them, lightly fry them, and then we're going to clap them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's the deal. While we were offline, someone says, "Hey, let me show you a couple, couple tips, a couple tricks that's gonna help you." And uh, I was like, "Why are you showing me? You should be showing them." So here's the master at work. <laughs> so Jeff, you're generously flowering it. I take the dough ball and I kind of start to stretch it a little bit, like you would start a pizza crust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a miniature pizza crust. Yeah, exactly. Right. So then I press it down, get a little dredge on one side, and then flip it over. So that way both sides of the roti are flour. So now I take my rolling pin, just go back and forth, and then I flip it over, flip it over, and then turn it 90 degrees, and I roll it again the other way. So from here, this is where it gets a little, little bit easier, and it's a little bit of a hack. I keep the roti in one place, and now both sides are really well floured. So I hold on to like the bottom half of it with my fingers very lightly, and I put my rolling pin in the center, and I push it out, kind of stretching the roti and turning it 90 degrees, bringing my rolling pin back to the center and stretching it outward. So it kind of stretches it a little bit like a pizza dough. That's amazing. I mean, the difference in what I was doing and what she's doing right now is crazy. And the, the, the real difference, honestly, is a little bit of flour, right? I didn't flour it well enough. And then the technique, which she has, and that's what I'm trying to learn. So I'm learning right along with you, obviously. Takes a little practice. Do you hey. want to go for it? No, I want to see the master work. Look at that. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're perfect. They're so light. And so thin, they're going to be brilliant. I'm so excited about them. <laughs> we have the pan. We have the pan. Let's do it. Okay. So we're over medium heat. Medium heat, yes. Flat pan. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Okay, brush a little bit of butter. Not a whole lot because you don't want it swimming in the butter. But brush a little on top. Very good. How's that? Is that good? That's perfect. That looks great. All right. Okay, so now these guys are small enough, and the pan is big enough where you could probably fit two because you want them to cook really evenly. All right. Go do two. Okay. Like that one there. Very good. Perfect. And it's going to start to bubble 
in just a few seconds after hitting the heat. Oh yeah, look at it. It's right. already bubbling. Right, it's gonna start to leopard. So now, <laughs> so now what you want to do is also get a little bit of butter okay. on your brush and just dab it on that side of the roti because we're lightly frying them in butter. Makes both sides, sense. both sides. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let these cook on here on one side for roughly a minute and a half, maybe, and then we're gonna flip it and cook. Can it. I salt them right now? Um, you can. Okay. Yeah, it's a preference thing if you want to, sure. But you know, I'm always gonna salt it. You're gonna salt it. No I'm a salt what. guy. You know. Yeah, and I'm gonna eat this part too. Okay. Okay. You wanna share it? The practice. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so can you see all the little air pockets coming in? I don't know. Can you guys see the air pockets? Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Put it back on the fire. Back on the fire. Yep. So the air pockets. Mm -hmm. What's that mean to the brain? It means it's going to give it another layer. It means that there's there's air inside of it. Between the two layers, it gives mm -hmm. it a little bit more of a toothsome kind of texture. Um, it just makes it lighter and fluffier. That way it's not dense and heavy like a really thick piece of, you know, leaded bread. That makes sense. It just makes it lighter. Mm -hmm. So what about this? Look, I'm seeing some color on this side. That's really pretty color. It's a golden brown right now, but you want to keep going until it's about a medium brown. Okay. Yeah. So, so now we have to... <laughs> so this might be ready to flip now because I can smell it. It's smelling kind of toasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Look at that. Yeah. It's got some nice color there. Yep. And you've already buttered the other side, And we already too. buttered the other yeah. side. Yeah. What about this guy? Yep. Oh, look at that. It's a beer. ready to? Yep. And it's puffing still even more. Yeah. Yep. So now what are we waiting for? That, so, that side to cook. Right, that side to cook. And then once they're done, so mm -hmm. this is going to take maybe half the time of the first side. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So once this is done, you're going to transfer it over to um, a cloth-lined plate. Why a cloth-lined plate? That's an excellent question. So that way you can fold part of the cloth over it and keep them warm as you're cooking the rest of the roti. No, oh, okay. That makes sense. That looks really good. That was maybe good. About tw 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Literally 20 more seconds. Premature. <laughs> That yeah, one looks good. great. Look at that. There Look you at go. That. Mm -hmm. Pow! Roti! Good. All right, this guy's starting to... Uh, Ten more seconds. Uh, I know. I know. I'm like... <laughs> See, now you feel what I feel when I'm like... I, I, just, I just let me get this. Yeah. <laughs> Should be good now. All right, let's see. That is spot on perfect. Boom. Spot on spotted. Spot on yep. spotted perfect. Okay. All right, so we flop it over here. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? And then... If you're lucky enough to get yourself a sucker that doesn't mind burning their hands, that's what I'm here for. All right. You can take the roti like this. It is it is very hot, but you want to clap it. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. And it looks like I'm ripping it apart, but I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually tenderizing it. Because look, see how nice and pliable it is now? Yeah, you're not burning the shit out of your hands? No. I can't feel anything in my hands. This one's pliable. This one's a little too stiff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now... And you just do the same thing. Huh. But the trick is to do it when they're still really super hot. So Why? that way they don't break. Oh, so when they cool off, they're going to they're gonna break apart. They stiff enough. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they that stiff enough sense. if you wait until they're too, they're too cool to do it. And then they break. All right. So just cover this up. And we're going to butter, place, butter, flip, so salt. So re repeat. Repeat. It's wash, rinse, repeat. What are fingers for? Fingers are for burning. <laughs> Those All right. are beautiful. Great job. Thank you. Awesome. Let's do it again. Okay. Okay, guys. So we ripped through, I don't know how many, a dozen? That we didn't eat? 14. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I couldn't stay out of it. So these are still coming up hot. So please be careful. Look at this kid. I mean, it's, it's insane what she's doing here. Oh. What are fingers for? Fingers are for burning, and she has no feeling left in her hands. I promise you that. Well, then they're also kind of coated in butter, too, so that's an extra layer of protection. <laughs> so, listen, these things came out amazing, and um, we've eaten probably, I don't know, a half dozen? At least. They're so good. So, try this roti recipe at home. Miss K. V. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great job on your roti. They are awesome. You, you seriously knocked it out of the park. Man, thank you so much for teaching me how to make these. They are amazing. Try these at home. You're not going to regret it. Basically tortillas with lard, right? Yes. Fried in butter. Yes. You're yes. amazing. Yes. 
And they're so easy to make. It's Just so fast. So fast. So fast. And so much better. You'll never want to like get store bought ever again. Ever. I love that you love them. I love that I love them. <laughs> chum chum chewy. Check out Miss Keisha. Keisha, Keisha's cooking. Kitchen Bravo. What? Instagram? Instagram. YouTube? Yep. Where else? Uh, Facebook? Pinterest. Facebook, Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah. Wherever you get your social media, check out her recipes. Check out her videos. She shows you how to make amazing things every single time. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. It's been wonderful working with you, sir. I hope to do it again soon. Ma'am. Can't wait for the next. Me too. Chomp, chomp, chewy. We'll see you in the next video. We're out.